What's going on guys, it's Crowbar and we're back with some more MLB 14 to show PJ Jimenez wrote to the show and we're starting off hot with a nice diving play by PJ. Check that out, that was pretty nice, but so one thing I want to talk about is uh I'm gonna just go right into it. Uh so something happened with my Elgato that ended up deleting a lot of videos off Elgato, so some of them are like out of order for some reason, so this episode is pretty much um as best as I can get it in order. The Twins videos, I know the order because I know the scheduling of that. And uh, I'm only a couple episodes ahead of this. But this one, this is like like 50 games or something like that because I added them a lot. But you're going to see very quickly we get option down to AAA back on again. The minor league pregame show as we move closer to first pitch tonight in the Pacific Coast League with the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. TJ Jimenez is in that spotlight, returning to AAA after being sent back down to make room on the Major League roster for a player coming back from an injury. And he can't be all that happy to be here at the AAA level again. But I think he knew it was coming, and maybe his brief experience in the show will inspire him to work even harder. Hopefully for him, he was able to impress a couple of people up there and learn some things about playing at that level. That kind of experience can be invaluable to young players as they make their way through the minor leagues. So uh, we're back, but anyways, we got option down to AAA pretty quickly. Uh, and the only reason we were up is because Carlos Quinton was injured in the MLB club. So they decided to bring us up, and, you know, we did all right for the uh, MLB club, but we're back in AAA right now, so we're just going to be the RBI machine we are. And trying to get another call up, hopefully it'll be uh, September, but maybe a little bit earlier as we're taking off our third base and our speed is really well, like, you could see, oh, even if we get a poor jump, we could still steal bases, but facing off against the Albuquerque Isotopes now, we are uh, on a one-run lead, trying to score the second run of the game, 1-1 one, one count, and this guy's going to end up hitting it to the second baseman, and we are going to end up scoring on the play, so a great job by PJ to get to third base to make that possible, but 4-3 game, top of the ninth inning, nobody on, and PJ's going to end up ripping this one down this right field line, and he's got easy extra bases for him, that one's going to hit off the base of the wall, and PJ will slide into second base with a double, so PJ just being the doubles machine he is, the RBI machine is pretty much the absolute machine he is. Now he's on second base right now, 4-3 to three game, maybe trying to get an insurance run for his team. He's going to take off on first movement, and the catcher's going to have a little bit of trouble with the ball, and he's going to end up not having a chance on P.J., who will steal third base. So not, not a great job by P.J. He's now in the 14th inning, Albuquerque ended up coming back, as now P.J. is going to end up hitting this one right down the left field line, and P.J. is going to go for extra bases once again in this game, and he will get into second base with a double, another double for P.J. as... He ends up getting uh, two hits in that game. A lot of our bats ended up going into the bottom of the 18th uh, inning when Albuquerque walked off. But we move on to the second game of the series, top of the ninth inning. Tacoma's got a nice lead, 7-2. to two. PJ up, and PJ's going to end up trying to uh, give another insurance run to Tacoma. This one's going to go to the deepest part of the ballpark. And PJ's got extra bases. They're still finding the ball. PJ's got a lot of speed. And he's going to end up rounding third base because the shortstop held onto the ball. And he will have an inside-the-park home run. Can you believe it? PJ Jimenez just showcasing his speed right there, getting a nice home run inside the parker. As we move on now, the next game wasn't that great for him as he ended up going 0 for 5 in the game, or excuse me, 0 for 4 in the game. And the next game after that, he ended up going 0 for 4. So he goes into a little bit of a rough slump. Don't know if you can even call it a slump because he's still hitting over 300. But we're now facing Fresno Grizzlies, the AAA team of the San Francisco Giants. Back from the left side of the plate, Indy ends up hitting this one right down the first baseline on the ground. This one will go into the corner. PJ going to slide into second base with the double. That drives in a run. Continues to be an RBI machine. RBI double for PJ. As now he's on second base now. So now trying to showcase some speed, getting a nice commanding lead. He takes off on the breaking ball and he will get into third base with a stolen base. So PJ just trying to steal every chance he get. Maybe he can be the next Ricky Henderson and steal hundreds and hundreds of bases, become the next stolen base leader. Ends up getting one hit in that game. Now the bases are loaded. 4 2 game. Baja, that's not going to do it. Right down the middle, and he's going to end up popping this one up right to the first baseman. So won't even be able to drive in a run there, despite all the opportunities he had. So now 5-2, runners on second and third, and now this ball is hit deep to the left. Won't drive in a run through a home run, but it will drive it in through the sack fly. So the throw from left field will not be in time, as that runner is going to slide in safely. 
as another RBI for PJ, trying to get it done any way he can. Even though in that game he ends up going 0 for 5 in the game, he still ended up getting the RBI. 2 0 game ahead of the Las Vegas 51's bottom of the sixth inning. 0 0 count, and we're going to take this one for a nice ride into the gap. This one is going to split the left fielder and the center fielder. PJ thinking 3 on this one. He is going to go 3, and he will slide into third base with a triple. PJ just getting a lot of triples. I think he's leading the league in triples even. As now he's just 90 feet away from scoring the third run of the ball game for his team. Bomb the sixth inning, 0-2 count. One away, and this one is going to be hit into right field. Easy run for PJ. He's just going to walk in because that one was right into the gap. And his teammate isn't end up pulling up with a double. So now we're facing Las Vegas still, bottom of the 8th, 1-0 count. After a single, PJ's going to end up taking off for second base. He will slide in, and he is safe. As now, um, another stolen base for PJ. Ends up getting two hits in that game. As just getting some done. Maybe he can get it back up to the majors soon. Now bases are loaded, 1-2 count. And, ah, PJ's need to get that clutch up because he just can't get it done. But now, bottom of the third inning, one away, and he's going to get a perfect jump on this one. Slides into second base. He's safe. PJ is just going to be an RBI machine now. So now, trying to steal third, and whoops, that's not going to do the job. But look at that. He will end up getting there still, as now that's an error. So now facing the Sacramento uh, River Cats, he's on first base, trying to get a, he's getting another perfect jump, and he's going to end up sliding to second base. Safe once again, just no chance to get PJ. He is like a bolt of lightning out there. He's fast in the bolt of lightning, but now here we go once again, trying to steal second base. But top of the ninth, he needs to get a runner in. As now facing the lefty, he's gonna get one of the best jumps he's ever gotten. He's gonna slide to second base, and he's safe. But something bad happens here. As you're gonna take a look at the screen, and PJ is on the ground, having trouble getting to his feet. His shin bone was hit hard with a deal force, and is concerned that's fractured. Or even broken and you're gonna see that he's gonna even though it be carried off the field and this is not a good look as you can see PJ is in a lot of pain being carried off by the twin trainers right there but he ends up getting two hits in that game as we wait to see what's wrong with PJ hopefully it's nothing too serious and it is serious broken shin out for 60 days and that's gonna sideline him for the rest of the season so you could take a look at the final stats that he had in MLB, having 90 at bats in the MLB and 167 AAA, almost hit 300 in AAA, and he hit 11 home runs. As that really sucks. He had 11 stolen bases, or no, he was caught 11 times, but he had 20 stolen bases. So we'll end up signing a one-year, $500,000 contract in the offseason, and we will be starting off on the MLB bench. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like, leave some comments. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. But we'll be starting the 2016 uh, season in the next PJ Jimenez road to the show. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.